okay so sap installation on the linux linux operating system here okay the same installation procedure the softwares common but only thing is starting the swpm tool is the different here i think that i showed how to start in the linux how to start in the windows so but no problem so installation on the linux installation so installation on the linux system here system build system build on so linux server so okay linux server how to do that one here so here same set of softwares we required here as wpm tool and also we need the kernel files and also we required the exports so here we required the db db client so db db client we required and the same set of softwares like the host agent host scp host agent also we required here so these are the five things we require software same as like windows and a download procedure is common there is no specific do download procedure in the linux right so if it is a linux linux swpm we need to download it with windows windows swpm we have to download it that is only one thing is here so once done it then log into the linux system via putty so kps4 hana is our so linux host here right so here linux host we have to use the putty putty we have to use it here putty right putty is the software so ways to log into the linux operating system here so then once you log into the linux system here right so here df-h command so for the to check the file system sizes and everything here then so go to cd slash media where we have the installation softwares are located here so sap installation softwares are located here right so here so let me check db is up and running here db yes ana db is up and running here that is fine okay so here uh, cd slash media cd sap so sap so here sap we have the exports are there kernels are there and uh, yeah uh, many things are there i think here yeah this is the what is this this is the export media what is this yeah. let's check the exports here just validate it all those things cd data unix okay here we have the exports okay we can use these exports and uh, kernels are there db installed already then swpm tool also there here okay swpm tool also there here so what we can do here so we can go to the cd swpm right it's a windows you can just do the double click and all those things here so if it is the linux we don't need to do anything we, we just we have to execute it manually so one more important thing is here so uh, for the windows windows systems there is a c++ library files are required here vc runtime vc runtime there is a one msi package we have to install it normally it will come as part of the operating system or we can install it separately c++ runtime so files we have to install it it is the linux admin linux what we have to do here it is the linux system right the linux system there is a gcc library gcc rpm packages we have to install it gcm rpm packages we have to install it so compact c plus plus these things are we have to install it here compact rpm packages and all those things we have to install it so right so then only your swpm tool will run right so just to so once you extract the sum to swpm tool here then it will create the this folders and everything normally if it is the windows what we will do we will double click on the sap inst right then it will start the sap swpm spoon it will be installed here right so but when it comes to linux we need to dot slash in front of the file if you want to execute it you need to just execute the dot slash and so this sap inst so that if you want to pass the some more arguments you can pass it otherwise just click on the enter then this will extract it here so here you can see here so there is a url it is opened 
sir windows it is open directly url is open from the browser linux we have to manually open the url right so open the url just to open take the browser only linux level you cannot open anything in the linux just start the the swpm tool then just open the url from the browser that's it then from here onwards you know the steps port number and uh, same uh, give the root user windows you will give the administrator which user you will start it so linux we have to use the root user here then so what you are going to install it here right so any sap so same same procedure here go to the 7.5 so here previously we have chosen the sql server right so now you choose the hana database system copy application server above standard system standard click on the next okay let me once again so here you have the multiple any anything you we choose it here but only we have the exports like let your 7.5 exports then databases we have the hana database and installation so because nowadays we everybody choose the hana database installation application server above and standard installation right click on the next button here only here starting procedure is different uh, but when it comes to the installation as well steps it's common why because windows level also it will generate the url the url will open in the browser then there we have to provide the inputs from here also we have to start it by but here we need to use the go to that folder dot slash sap inst windows level you need to just double click it it will start it windows level you need to double click then it will start it here so sap ins to ms for dev so root to user same custom typical typical options let me take the one more session so sid sid it is asking i can say like nwd okay just nwd no fqdn next but linux right that way it will be very fast linux so db details db details so hana database host name same host name kps4 hana linux db sid hdb instance number what is the instance number here for hana database zero zero okay so we have that zero 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 okay password of the user system the database should be up and running otherwise if you do if the database is not in connection to the database user is not set up check database is online or not so we have the database is online right hdb space info on our database then it will give you the db details and everything database is online maybe password is wrong i guess Mm -hmm. so let's check the log files here what's happening here and i did the log files here starting the new connection invalid user authentication failed oh my god see here it's clearly giving the information that's why we always check the log files which is there in the so here log files if you see here 
is clearly giving the information invalid user and password authentication failed so which means this hdb what is the password system password let me check So via Hana Studio, we can we can check it out during the DB time. We'll come to know here what is the DB SID TPS four TPS four. Yes. So let me check our password. Yeah, it's working. This is working. Yeah. Yes, this work. But what password I typed it here? Let me type. Yeah, it is working. This is working. Yeah, now it's taken. Maybe some typo error. It's taken. So now it's asking the kernel files. So just choose the kernel. Kernels are there in the slash media. So, SAP. So, kernel. Just choose the kernels. Happy. But you can see all the files are not taken. Only two files are still missing, which means in the kernel directory, not all the files are exist here. So what we can do here, go to the slash media and SAP just to select the IGS exe. So then one more file. I guess helper. Okay. So four files are available kernel. Same click on the next button. So only you have to ensure is login to the Linux system. And then click on the no. So only log into the Linux system executing the SWPM tool. That is the one important thing here. Host agent upgrade not required. So where our files are exist means CD slash media and SAP and SWPM. This is the location. We have the SWPM location. Okay. Then if you under the slash media and SAP slash media SAP, if you go it here, we have the SWPM folder here. We have the so exports here. We have the kernel and everything is available here. Okay. That you can do that one. So then client, client it is asking here. So just to provide the client details. So HANA client, right? So then you need to provide the where is the HANA client is exist. CD slash media and SAP client. Next. So here you see here, uh, so IMDB client we have. So just click the next, next button here. So installation exports here. Go to the slash media. So export. What is this exports? This is SAP. 
and uh, underscore three data units select that one just folder also if you select it it will take it out it will take it out here Procedure is, you see, procedure is same, right? Same, whatever you have seen, same procedure, right? So, but only thing is starting is the trouble here that you need to log into the Linux system, go to the SWPM folder, then dot slash SAP INST. It will start the, it will, it will ask us to open the URL. So in the windows, it's automatically, it's opened the, it will also, it automatically it will open the URL from the browser. But Windows, Linux, we have to manually open it here, right? So, it's a database. These are the database specific parameters here. It will be creative. So, you will come to know during the DB topic time. So, that time you will come to know DB. Right? So, this is under normal. Normal screens, all screens are common. So don't use the parameter files, that is fine. So number of parallel jobs, 18. Why? Because we have the 18 processor there, 18 jobs. Means system will be, so means installation will be very fast in this case. So what is the instance number 0405 or what what the instance number you want to give it or 10 to 11 or 20 to 21 or whatever the number your uh, client suggests so same number you can give the instance number and the two instances will be created you know right primary application server and ASCS instance click on the next button next Next, next, our uh, Windows systems, the before the crash happens, so it's very slow, right? When we start it and everything, oh, it's a very speed. Why? Because so entire hardware we have formatted and uh, and a new operating base OS we have done it and everything we have done. So that's why it's very, very fast. You can see here review parameter section, same. So on our database details, window Linux. Here only thing is uh, SQL server, then SQL server instance name, we got it. Now here on our database, on our database details, we got it. So it is a Sybase, Sybase details, only database is different. Any operating system installation or any database, any SAP, the similar procedure we have to follow it here right similar procedure then click on the next button then it will start doing the installation of our sap systems see but it will be very fast max in uh, 40 minutes 30 to 40 minutes we can complete the installation okay. since we have already it's there so just i'm canceling the installation here in so in trend means same this will if this complete 23 percent if complete to the 100 percent then installation completes that's it so nothing apart from that okay so otherwise we will keep it thus we will keep it running so we will keep it or shall i shall i cancel it we are not going to use this system that's why yeah cancel it sir okay just yes, i'm canceling you can also try that one so that is the installation on the Linux. So since we have that time, let's quickly start discussion.